My controller's doing something weird. And if yours isn't doing the same weird thing, you might not be getting the best performance out of your Betaflight quadcopter. Check it out. Do you see how right here, channel four is kind of wiggling back and forth or jittering? That's actually a consequence of electrical noise in the circuit that is reading the channel position. And OpenTX has a low pass filter, a filter that gets rid of that. Now that's a good thing if you're flying an airplane with servos because you don't want those servos going like that. But if you are using a Betaflight flight controller, then that jitter actually is filtered by Betaflight. And having filtering in the uh, controller and filtering in the flight controller is not ideal. In fact, it adds latency and it makes it harder for the Betaflight filtering to do its job. The Betaflight filtering is smarter and better than the filtering that's built into your controller. So the takeaway is you need to turn that filter off in your controller. Check it out. I'm gonna press the sys key and I'm gonna page to the hardware screen. If you've got a FreeSky radio that doesn't have a separate sys and model key, it's long press the menu key to get to, the, to, get to radio setup and then page to hardware. And I'm gonna scroll down and right here is the option ADC filter. And you wanna turn that off you see that mine is off. And I'm making this video, number one, because a lot of people don't know that this is an issue. But number two, I flashed firmware recently, I think when I did my Edge TX tutorial. And when I flashed the firmware back to OpenTX for various reasons, ADC filter turned back on again. So if you've updated the firmware on your radio, or if you just look at your main screen and you don't see this jiggling, it might've got turned on again by accident go ahead and turn it off and Betaflight will, it'll work better. It'll be a little better, less latency. That's a good thing, right? One catch here though, this is a radio wide setting. It is not set, it doesn't change based on the model that is loaded. So if you fly both Betaflight quadcopters and fixed wing planes with servos, you're in a weird situation. If you turn it off, and you have the servos, the servos may have a little bit more jitter. I've heard from people who fly planes who say they fly with it off and it's not a big deal for them, but you may be having an issue, you may need to turn it on and you're kind of, I don't buy two radios, right? Have one radio for your planes and one for your quads. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do for this video, just a short and simple tip. Thanks for watching, happy flying. What are you doing in here? The least you could do is subscribe or join my Patreon or like just here's another video I picked out for you. Jeez.